And here's another trick. You could take a you could take a rubber glove like this or something else and then you can wrap your hand up with newspaper or plastic or something like saran wrap or something because it's going to get up your arm maybe if you're not careful. Okay. This is just one of those throwaway doctor's gloves. Yeah. Time for some operating. And what I want to do is I'm going to put that on. I'm just going to put it on about six inches wide, a little bit wider actually than six inches. Right? Ah, get that out of your way, huh? Put that over there, get set up here. And you remember my mesh, my mesh tape is about six inches wide, so when I put it on there, I need to make sure I get it at least that wide. Lift with your back, or with your legs, not your back. Okay. Let's see if you can see that. Yes, you can see it. I got three gallons to work with. Okay. I'm just going to start putting this stuff on. I want to make sure I've got it at least six inches wide. And see, sometimes you might think, hey, how come it's not sticking? Well, then you can kind of move it back and forth a little bit and see that it kind of helps bond it. So far, so good. I haven't gotten any on me. Okay. And I have to go just beyond the six inches. Because once I put the webbing tape on, I want to make sure I've got enough coverage. I want to see about where the center of that is. I could have cut this uh, this webbing tape, you know, in sections so I could just do a little bit at a time, but I didn't. And do you really need the webbing tape? I and mean, this is going on pretty nice to where maybe I don't need the tape at all. But I'm going to put it on anyways. It's going to help keep it from cracking. You know, sometimes you see mastic like this up on a roof or wherever, and it's got big hairline cracks on it. And that's probably because you got it on nice and thick, and then the sun got on, on it, it baked it, and it started cracking. And right where it's cracked is where it's going to leak. We don't want that, do we? Okay, so let's just let's just try out something here, shall we? Let's see what we can do about getting maybe getting this started. I'm just gonna put that on there, eyeball it right in the middle. You don't have to be a roofer to do this. Now, see, I can just kind of leave this folded over. Let's see. And now I'm gonna press it in there. The idea is I want to I want to cover all of the yellow. And some of it is just going to press right through it. Okay, see? I can take some excess and put over the top. Maybe I should pull it this way a little bit. I can pull it just a hair like that. You don't have to be a roofer to do this. I'm not a roofer by any means. Okay, now I'm going to want to put a little bit more over the top. And that's going to help kind of keep it. Can you see how that's going to help it from preventing it from cracking as much? because you've got that webbing tape in there. So far, so good. I'm just gonna put a thin layer on there for now because the last thing I want to do is to run out of my tar. 
before I get done with this whole roof, huh? If I have extra and if I want to put a little bit more on there, I can when I get done. Okay? Just like that. Way you go. Now I have to pull this back like that. And I'll keep going.